Welcome back to day six of the Mercury and Reggaeton Challenge. We will be doing a live stream every three days as well as additional challenges on Patreon. Link will be in my bio for my Patreon. Today, Spirit said that we need to do some weaving, so that's what we're going to do in preparation for the full moon in Pisces that's coming up. Well, if you're asking me, Abby, weaving? Then I'm going to say yes, weaving, but it's going to be in a different way than what you think it is. We're going to be doing some spiritual weaving today, which is a method of warding that is visually specific for those who need help when, when it comes to visualizing their wards. It's more visually specific in the way that you're going to weave the spell together. This is also a very simple process to do, and it is up to you whether you want to just weave your bed or you want to weave your home. Though I recommend starting with your bed, not only because the full moon in Pisces is approaching and that focuses on dream work, but also because if you're new into doing this work and warding, it might take a little bit more energy to ward your entire home. When it comes to weaving, I prefer to do it with a chance that I have previously wrote for whatever it is that I can repeat over and over again as I'm visually weaving the ward. But you can also just write down a petition and repeat it over and over again until the weaving is done. So let's say you chose to do this with your bed. I recommend working with amethyst for this. You're going to put it in each corner of your bed. If you only have one, that is fine. You can also add clear quartz if you don't have amethyst or you can work with clear quartz and amethyst because clear quartz is a crystal that you can basically tell to adapt amethyst properties without it being an amethyst crystal due to the fact that clear quartz can take on any spiritual property of any crystal without you having that physical crystal because it is an amplifier as far as the chant that you're going to say you're going to want to write down exactly what you know you want when it comes to what you're weaving over your bed ultimately this is a protective ward so it is meant to be protective so you can add things in your chant or in your petition that you're going to be repeating over and over again until the weaving is complete. You can add things such as um, no, you know, ill intention can get to me while I'm dreaming. Nobody can trespass. Nobody can enter that I do not give consent to. I am protected in my dreams. This is a really great time to weave some really intentful things into your dreams. Like I have creative ideas are flowing through me through my dreams. I can see things clearer. The messages are coming in clearer. I am an, uh, understanding my subconscious and I'm understanding the messages that are coming through my dreams perfectly clearly. I have discernment while I dream. If you want to weave in future possibilities, you can. Like I can see the future clearly. I can see a glimpse ahead, something that's meant to be a warning or a caution or something helpful. Like you can literally weave in whatever it is that you're going to want to be supportive while you dream. The next couple of days are going to be very, very important, especially with Mercury retrograde, to be productive when it comes to your head working. And this is a very dreamy like state of head work that we're going to be doing. Once you have your chant together, whatever that may look like, you're going to be repeating it over and over again. So once you have the crystals in all four corners of the bed, you're going to take it, whether you wrote it down or you memorized it, whatever it is, you're going to be saying it over and over and over again. But you're going to be visualizing each corner where the crystals are weaving like think of it like a ginormous, you know, those big as um, yarn um, that people make like these big as yarn blankets and the, and the yarn is like this thick and stuff like that. I want you to think of it like that. Like it's really, really big. And as you're weaving it, as you're enchanting everything, the weave is basically you can make like a dome shape um, and just weave it over your bed. You can make it make it look like a canopy, whatever it is, whatever you want to visualize at that point. Once it is done, you're, it's sealed in. Um, you don't have to change it till after the full moon. Um, and you can, during the time that you're going to be spending sleeping, this is going to be a little bit more intentful. Obviously, this is a really great time to do some prophetic dreaming if you want it to. This is also a really great time to do ancestor work. This is a great time if you wanted to channel some past lives. This is a really great time to do a lot of different things especially because you're already protected and you weaved into your protective dome what you will and will not allow to come in. So keep that in mind. The next couple of challenges are meant to help you grow spiritually within your spiritual practice. Um, so we're going to be doing things that are a little bit challenging uh, so that hopefully you can have some really amazing prophetic dreams, but also so you can deepen your practice as well. So no, we're not just doing basic warding over here. We are going to be intentfully weaving some things into the ward so that 
you have a safe space to do the spiritual work that you need to do within your subconscious mind within the dream world. I will see you loves in tomorrow's challenge.